Okay, welcome everybody and thank you for joining all of us here and for checking out our presentation. We're going to talk about trading options. We're looking at automated options trading, probably something you have not seen before. We've got a group of core traders using our proprietary options trading technology. We're collecting income. We're trading stock indices like on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. And we're doing futures options. So if you're not familiar with that, we're going to show you all about it and discuss all the advantages to trading futures options the way we do it. And we're going to look at automation with risk and profit controls. And these are pre-built option spreads. So that's what we that's what we're talking about when we say automation. And we're going to look at high probability setups for collecting premium and a unique and proprietary strategy, something similar to uh, iron condor and credit spreads, but a variation on that that you've not seen. And then we have one touch trade alerts. Our technology will send those alerts to you and you can respond in just one touch. So with that said, let's get some of the preliminaries out of the way. Remember we're speculating, we're trying to make money as markets move up and down and sideways, but there's always risk wherever there is profit. So do take a moment to read that risk disclosure. It is important. I'll pause for just a moment. Remember that all funds committed should be risk capital and past performance is no guarantee of future results. So here's the dilemma. How do you trade what we call the chop or the chop bucket? Are you good enough to sell the highs and buy the lows and then reverse and buy the lows and sell the highs and back and forth? Maybe you are, but um, I'm not. <laughs> and you know, you have a lot of noise in the market. Here's someone here just today you know, stock insiders are selling by record amounts, uh, suggesting a large fall in the stock market. So, I mean, are you just going to get jerked around by headlines or trust your gut like this fly is doing here when they land on that Venus fly trap? What you, what you really need is a process, an investing process to help you along the way in some technology. Here's this poor chap here struggling with what orders and trades to place and meanwhile the robot it's got it all handled so that's what we're going to jump into in a demo in just a minute we're going to look at algo generated option spreads these are pre-built like we mentioned we've got these one touch trade alerts people absolutely love these and then we have automated risk and profit control something called the risk thermal indicator it's our proprietary indicator and then of course bull markets bear markets non-directional strategies for everything, but we'll focus on some non-directional strategies. A little bit about who we are. We are AltaVest. Since 1997, folks, we've been doing this quite a while, and uh, that's yours truly there in the middle. Some of our colleagues down on the uh, S&P 500 options trading floor, some of our brokers that worked for us uh, filling, quite frankly, millions of options over the years. So we're all licensed, of course, been doing this a long time. And maybe you've seen some of our work before in some other venues and outlets. And if not, that's fine. We do get some press every now and then here with uh, uh, firms like uh, Market Watch quoting us. So maybe you've seen our name. And we are regulated with the NFA and CFTC. We're located in California. So the CFTC and the NFA are the regulating uh, agencies that oversee what we do. We are futures and options experts, and we've quite frankly traded uh, millions and millions of contracts over the years. So with that experience, we've figured a lot of this stuff out. So you don't need to figure all this out. Uh, we've done a lot of that heavy lifting for you. You want to avoid doing what this guy here is doing, sitting in his basement, trying to figure out the patterns in the stock market. Uh, it's from a movie called Pi, by the way. Very interesting movie. You can see the stock ticker right here uh, before they went to decimals. <laughs> so it's, uh, I don't know, 20 something years old. But we have a solution for you built with all of our experience and decades of input from industry veterans. And before we jump into that demo, just a brief introduction. I'm Eric Gebhard, been doing this about 30 years now. I'm a co founder of AltaVest. I'm, of course, licensed since 1991. And my BS in business administration from the University of Southern California. 
and maybe you've seen some of our presentations over the last year or two, especially since the uh, pandemic. We used to do a lot of these uh, in person in seminars around the country. But of course, we're doing a lot of this with webinars lately. Hopefully, we'll get out there on the road again. And people want to know sometimes how I got started. I began in mutual funds and the security side of things with the mutual funds and annuities with my Series 6 and 63 securities licenses. Then after a time, I got involved with what I'm doing now, commodities, commodity futures. So I was licensed there. Uh, and also I have my Series 65 investment advisory um, as well. So with that out of the way, let's jump in. And I want you to kind of pause on each one of these. We're going to look at three common barriers uh, that we've sort of pinned down as a common theme among most, well, basically every trader. So I think we can relate to all of these. So take a look here. Number one. Well, let's state the obvious. Day trading is not easy, but did you know there's less than a 1% success rate according to various studies? Here's an article, The Day Trading Pandemic. Famous economist here wrote this about a year ago. It says here, they looked at active trading count accounts from Charles Schwab over a six year period. Active traders substantially underperformed a simple low cost index fund. And then look at this in Taiwan. They looked at traders over a 15 year period. Less than 1% of day traders were able to consistently beat the market. 80% of them lost money. And here's a study out of Brazil. Only 3% of the day traders made money. So the point is folks, it's not that simple. Here's Wall Street Journal talking about social media stars in terms of traders. But being popular means you never criticize a meme stock. It says here, we know that day trading does not produce long-term wealth for the vast majority, but the influencers are preying on the part of the human brain that has few inhibitions and it thinks that I will be the exception. So it leads to speculation and very high risk behavior. How much of us, uh, how many of us can relate to that? And it's always bullish. You ever notice that? All bulls. It's a long running bull market. So what's popular are only success stories and hot tips. The message, when it turns bearish, viewers turn away. So this is the kind of stuff that all of us probably see all the time. You can make 14 million if you follow this teenager here. Um, this person made 46 million flipping NFTs apparently. Follow me to learn how. <laughs> this 18 uh, year old says, I'll give you 500 times leverage. Uh, here's a guy with a big stack of money. So that's called narratives uh, trading, selling a story to trade. And in the long run, folks, I'm not sure any of us are really going to have any success doing that. Number two, even if you are trading, are you beating the market? So consider here, Mark Skousen, another economist, um, written uh, many books and articles and read a lot of his, his material over the years. Look at this. They did a study, a uh, hypothetical group of 100 monkeys. And... They had these monkeys trade a portfolio. Turns out the monkeys beat the index by 1.7% on average per year. So there you have it, folks. Here is your, who would have known that a monkey is your best trader? And uh, here's the biggest one of all, I think. The third hurdle, it's really us, our emotions. So this is a, uh, summarizes probably everything we're trying to say today about emotions it's expensive trying to convince the markets that you are correct and i think we can relate to this this comment here on this uh, tombstone you don't want to end up underground still thinking the market was wrong don't let the market kill you and why is it so difficult well there's a lot of noise you know for example you've got all the chatter from every possible angle and it puts us on that emotional roller coaster. Often we start out optimistic and euphoric if you're making money. And as you lose money, you become despondent and you capitulate and surrender. And then maybe a little more optimistic as maybe some of your positions turn around favorably. But that's no way to trade. You want to get off of that roller coaster. But the trouble is our worst enemy is ourselves. And this is uh, something I think I fully agree with. And I've... Um, kind of heard it really from everybody in one way or another. Everyone we talk to has something to say about this. 
but you have these biases. It's really kind of human nature, confirmation, anchoring, and recency bias. And here's a one, one small cartoon that's really going to summarize everything. So how many times do we look in the mirror and think we're really, really smart when things are going well? And of course, when they're not going so well, we end up on that roller coaster. So let's try to avoid that. And we're going to talk about algos here and then jump into our demo. Remember, algos have no emotion, but they are dominating the landscape. Algorithm trading here, according to JP Morgan, 90% of the US equity market is algo trading. So the machines, folks. Here's Bloomberg talking about robots are outwitting humans on their investment picks. And that's called revolutionary trading. And in fact, this is kind of fun to include here. This is from many years ago on an old camera. I took this in New York. This is what it used to look like. And here's what it looks like now, folks. So from the trading pits to the machines, emotion-free automation, built-in risk controls, built-in profit as well, profit targets. So how can we use machines to help us trade options? So we'll look at options trading, automated trading, and a weird strategy that you need to know. I use the word weird because that's what other people have um, commented about it and in a, uh, uh, I guess you could say a positive manner. Weird, let's use the word uh, in this case in a positive manner. So we're gonna look at something for up, down and non-directional stock index futures. And then we have that unique strategy we talked about. So automated options, spreads, these are pre-built. And first of all, we do this on stock market indexes, not individual stocks. I mentioned up front, uh, S&P 500, for example. And why is that? Well, of course, it's obvious. They're less volatile. And we have a proprietary strategy I mentioned. Um, it's not available in stock options, and I'll explain why. And then really, if you're trading on the S&P 500 or maybe the NASDAQ or the Russell, you're following just one or two or three indices and not, I think there's six or 7,000 securities. So, and here's an example of volatility. It's kind of an absurd example, but here's GameStop, this purple line. And here's the S&P 500 in relation. So which is easier to trade? Um, I think it's pretty obvious. And jumping from that to the next phase of the presentation, let's talk about insurance companies and how they make money. How do they make money? Well, you pay premiums and they assume that risk that you don't want. And they're selling, they're managing time, but they do insure themselves called reinsurance. They're consistent and they're patient. And they look at math, probabilities, long-term odds. That's all they do. Statistics, actuarials, probabilities, and math. That's all they're looking at, just like a casino. So higher probability outcomes, that's why the casinos exist. For example, if you bet on that zero, you spin that wheel enough times, you're gonna lose $5.26 on average per spin. So that's the house edge. And the house would love to have you sit there forever because they have that edge. And even though they will pay you at times, in the long run, they know that they're going to win. It's just math. So how do you become the house of trading options? Is that possible? So we're going to look at these higher probability option strategies and what are they? We talk about collecting premiums. You basically sell options and collect the premium that others are paying you. We call that a base hit. And you need to be consistent and patient in your approach. You need to manage your risk. You know that you will have losing trades. Manage reward. Don't get greedy, just as important. You need the proper tools. And remember, these are base hits we're going for. Lots of small winners is really the goal in these higher probability outcomes. We're not going for the grand slam. So these are short option strategies. They can be non-directional, bullish or bearish, and we're looking to target these higher probability outcomes with predetermined risk. So these are called credit spreads where you collect the premium that other people are paying. And every spread we're talking about is always insured or covered. 
predetermine risk and reward. And of course, they might be non-directional in nature. And there's the wide margin of error in the trades we're looking at. And I'll explain this graph in just a minute, but you can see this wide margin here of error on this particular trade. But first, let's jump into the Greeks. If you trade options, you know what these are. And if you don't, it's simple. We'll go through it very quickly. The only two we're going to look at, um, there's only two we're looking at because there's many others and there's derivatives of derivatives and multiple order Greeks. And you don't need to know any of that for what we're doing. But one is delta. It's just the approximate probability of expiring in the money. Just that easy, folks. So for example, if the delta is 0.25, that means there's a 25% chance of expiring in the money. And then there's a 75% chance of expiring worthless. So that's how we all like to look at it. We're going to look at what's the chance of an option expiring worthless. And remember, delta is always moving with price and time. And it is, it is not the probability of a winning trade. And then there's the other Greek theta. Remember, options are a decaying or a wasting asset. Every option has an expiration date. So theta is really time when you speak of options, and it's a negative number, and it equals one day of time decay. So if the option's at 10 points, and theta is negative 0.05, that, may, that means the next day the premium is 9.95. After that, premium drops to 9.90, and so on and so forth. Uh, everything else remaining equal, just for illustrative purposes. So that's what it would look like on a graph. As you approach time zero, percent of the premium remaining slips and slips and slips. And here's an example of a call spread. You see this red line, it's a 45.50 call. You decide to sell it and you collect four and a half points from the buyer. So you put that in your pocket, but you simultaneously buy 4570 call, but you have to pay two and a quarter. But the net result is you collect $112.50 in this example, uh, minus your fee. So that's simply collecting money by selling an out of the money call spread. And same thing with the put spread. You have these puts here that you're trading. You sell this one and buy this one. You collect three, you pay one, the net result is you collect $100. So that's very simply put, just selling some credit spreads. But the main thing I want to point out about that is these are not naked options. These are insured or hedged because you're always buying that other option along, uh, along with the one you sell. So your maximum risk is capped. So that's what's called a covered option spread. If others are telling you to do naked options, don't. I would run away. And you might think you're a genius for a while, but I can promise you, if you do it long enough, it's going to completely blow up your account. So do not trade naked options. And here's a big benefit too, to trading covered options. No margin calls. And of course I mentioned the unlimited risk um, of naked options. So this is a big deal for folks, no margin calls, because what'll happen if you're trading naked, the market's moving against you, you're gonna have to keep, uh, meeting these margin calls because the risk is becoming greater and greater as the markets move further and further against you. So you're gonna to have to keep adding money to maintain positions or keep adjusting and rolling and whatever else, but ultimately the market ends up trading you. So that's the problem with that. And there's way too much risk. So we're gonna look at an iron condor, for example. It's just a combination of the put spread and call spread that we just looked at kind of a funny name, but here's what it looks like. You sell an out of the money call spread, collect the money, the net result, and you sell an out of the money put spread, you collect that net result. Then you do this simultaneously on one order. So it's called a four-legged spread. Do you have four different strike prices here? And then of course you look for the market to say in that wide range. And if it does over a period of time, uh, these options will, these positions will start to decay in value. So you sell them high and then you can buy them back low. Now here's this weird strategy I'm talking about. It's our proprietary, our unique strategy. It's a short option strategy. It's a variation on the condor for collecting premium. 
we call it the dragonfly. It has six legs to it. So here is what it looks like. And let me slow down just a second and explain this and we'll go into the demo. So you'll see here the red line, we're selling these four calls. We simultaneously buy three further out of the money and then one closer to the money. And the key point here is this one that you're buying, for example, is in this case, 50 points closer to the money than the four that you're selling. And that's going to make a big difference, folks. You own this one. And not only will theta decay not impact it as much because it's 50 points closer to the money, but the delta is a lot higher and it will cause this position to act completely differently compared to a condor in many cases. Same strategy or structure on the bottom side here with the puts. You sell four, you buy three further out, and then one closer to the money. In this case, uh, the one you're buying is 50 points closer to the money. And it's not always 50, but just happens to be in this example. Of course, the algorithm decides that for us. But how would you even know, like I mentioned, I mentioned the algorithm does it. So how would you know how to do it by yourself? You probably wouldn't. It would be a very difficult thing to do. How would you know which market to start with? How do you know which strategy to apply? How do you know which price to use? You know, what's your timing? How do you manage the risk and the profits? You know, what strike prices are you choosing? What expirations? So here's your answer, folks. Uh, Theta Trader. That's the technology solution I'm going to show you here. These are pre-built option spreads. I mentioned our proprietary algorithm will create theta trades on a daily basis. Then we use advanced strategy automation, bull bear and flat market conditions, strategies for all the above. And we'll focus on the non-directional strategies. And then we have the automated risk and profit tracking, something called the risk thermal indicator. So it's simple and effective option spreads with profit and risk management that can be fully automated. All right, let me go ahead now and switch uh, screens. So bear with me, folks. A little bit of a pause here. Okay, great. We are looking at my screen now, and if um, there's a problem with my screen or if you need me to stop or slow down or have questions along the way, you can certainly ask. Uh, just use the chat there, and I'll do my best to um, keep one eye on that and one eye on the, on the screen. But for now, we'll go ahead, and you're looking at the Theta Trader dashboard. And I'll explain here. Let me do this. Maybe increase the size. Hopefully you can see that okay now. And if, if you can't, I'm sure you'll let me know. <laughs> so the first section here is our theta trades. And below this, you'll see any open short positions, any open bot long positions. Here's your account info pulled directly from your AltaVest trading account. Everything's integrated. And then any current quotes here. So best thing to do is just start at the top. You'll notice there are bullish strat strategies that are pre-populated and bearish and of course uh, neutral or non-directional and remember we're looking at stock indices uh, these are futures index uh, markets so the es or e-mini s p 500 nasdaq 100 and then the russell 2000 so those are the three markets that we're looking at and we mentioned condors and dragonflies so that's a good place to start let's click on the condors and you can see here the algorithm has pre-generated these trades for us. It's already built the trades, it's chosen the expiration, and it's chosen all the strike prices. And I will go ahead and select this one here in just a second, but let me explain what this looks like. So you can see there are trades that have 16 days all the way to 65 days to expiration. You can see the strike prices are listed here the puts that are being sold, the calls that are being sold. This is your uh, profit potential at expiration on each one of these. And then your targeted annualized return at expiration. 
keep in mind that this number here is really to compare one trade to another. It's not realistic to expect these types of annualized returns. So I want to make that clear. We will go ahead and choose this one here, the January week three, 65 days till expiration. And you'll pull up this table. First thing I like to do is look at a chart. So here's where we are right now. So these are the calls that are being sold and bought and the puts that are being sold and bought. And we'll go back to this table and we'll look through some of these numbers and explain this. You can see here that gives you the settlement value on that trade at two points, gives you your put, call risk, your premium, your commission, capital, cash required. Let me focus on this for a second. Cash required in this case is $921. And your profit potential is at $79. And then your targeted return on cash is 8.58%, and then the targeted annualized return. Now here is the question we get. Why would I use $921 to try to make a maximum of 79? Well, let's look at the strike prices. The put that we're selling is a 4090, and the call we're selling is a 5040 strike. And that's all predetermined by the formula and the algorithm that's kind of working its magic behind the scenes. But you'll notice the delta, 9.88. So that means there's over a 90% probability this put is going to expire out of the money. So the put you're selling is going to expire out of the money uh, with over a 90% probability of that happening. Same with the call, 6.48. So you're talking you know, 93.5% probability that this option you're selling to someone else and collecting premium for, that option is going to expire out of the money based on those deltas. So 93 and a half percent probability of that happening. So these are the higher probability outcomes. That's what we're talking about. And lots of base hits with higher probability favorable outcomes. It always defaults to a sell because you're selling the condor, collecting the premium. Always defaults to a quantity of one, but if you change the quantity, you'll see here the, the numbers changing. Why don't we use four as an example? You could change the number if you want, if you want to try to sell it at a higher price um, or lower price, what have you. And we'll just for the sake of the demo, go ahead and place that order. And there it is, it shows up as being filled in the demo account. Now let's jump in real quickly and take a look at the dragonfly and compare that with the condor. And I'm going to show you how you can automatically monitor this. And then we're going to look at a uh, back testing uh, portion of the technology as well. Here is the dragonfly. And here's the January end of month. Actually, I think we looked at the uh, January week three for the condor, didn't we? So we'll look at that one. Yeah, so that's the dragonfly for the same expiration as the condor. So this is what the graph looks like on the dragonfly. You can see it has three legs on the calls and three on the pits. And in this case, uh, yes, 50 points closer to the money is the one you're buying here compared to the four that you're selling. And the same thing here on the put side, same structure. So it's always going to be symmetrical. And we'll look at here, you'll see that because you're always selling a minimum of uh, four. So it's a, a ratio of four that you're selling calls and puts. If you wanna do two dragonflies, the ratio of course stays the same. So that it would be eight calls and puts that you're selling. And then this number here would be two and this number here would be six and so on. But you notice the cash required is higher. Your profit potential is higher. And that's of course, because the quantity is different, we're doing four. And then your targeted return on cash and targeted annualized return. The T-Rock is always going to be a little bit lower as is the uh, TAR compared to the Condor. And that's simply because you pay money for this call that you're buying here and this put that you're buying here. So that's buying a uh, little extra insurance is essentially what that means and that costs money. But I'll show you the benefits of that. Of course, if you buy insurance, there's a benefit to having insurance. But you can see here, 
generally speaking, it looks the same way, just with two extra legs, but you'll see the put that you're selling, once again, 9.88 delta, so over a 90% probability it expires out of the money. And then the calls that you're selling, the 50, 40s, 6.48, so 93.52% uh, you know, probability that these calls will expire out of the money. So that's the whole point of selling these spreads, collecting that premium, then trying to cover them later at a, at a lower price. I should point out too, we never hold things till expiration. We always cover something, whether it's for a win or a loss before the trade expires. And then here it's always defaulting to a sell. If you're selling a dragon for quantity defaults to one, maybe we'll do two. If you do two, you see the cash required moves up. If you go back to one, it goes down. Of course, all those numbers change too. And we'll go ahead and leave the uh, pricing the way it is, trying to sell that for just over seven points. And we'll place that order. And there it is. You can see the call that we did today and the dragonfly right there. Now, here's a lot of fun. We're going to show you the benefits and some of the advantages of the dragonfly compared to the condor. And the way to do that here, we have a trade simulator. We go backwards in time. And I've loaded some trades here to save time. I think I should shift this down so you can see more. So here is the end of month, June 2020 iron condor. And what we can do is go backwards in time and act like we were there and placing this trade and what would have happened. We can use these controls down here. We can go step forward a day at a time, we can step backwards a day at a time. And then you'll see here each day what's happening. And you'll see this green, this is called the RTI. And it's all green right now, which means good. So nothing to do there. And I'll explain those colors in just a second, but we'll use the play button. So you can see here, this is green. It means good, do nothing. See the PML on the trade is uh, profitable as stated a case starts to work. And now look what happens. It starts to run up pretty strong here and gets very close to your upper boundary on the calls that you're selling. So the algorithm is signaling higher risk with the yellow and even higher risk with the orange, but still don't do anything. Just means elevated risk. You, you can see here the trade went negative PL, which makes sense. Pulls back a bit, and the trade gets profitable again. And then it turns blue, and blue means take profits. So here on this iron condor with seven days left, you can then look at this blue signal and close out that position and take your profits. I want to point out something very, very important here. And I'll show you in just a minute, but you don't have to monitor or screen watch or babysit because you can set this up to automatically track your position. And then when it turns blue for profit taking signals, the order will be submitted automatically for you. So I want to point that out and I'll get to that in just a second. So this is the June end of month condor. And we took a profit here on June 20 days left. Now let's compare that to the dragonfly. The June month condor for 2020. Let me do something here. Find it here. Second, folks. going on here folks just give it is all about all right so we're going to go to 2020 this is okay to see this here um and we're going to look at 
we placed this trade on May 1st. Okay, we'll go to May 1st. And we'll look at the dragonfly and the June in the month. Okay, we're back. I think when I changed the, the scale or something that caused a hiccup. So here is the dragonfly for that same expiration. Now look at this. On May 28th, with 34 days left, you had a profit taking signal on the dragonfly. Now, if you compare that to the condor we just looked at, the same day, placing the trade on the same day, but instead of a dragon, you did a condor, you had to wait till June 24, almost, uh, well, three and a half weeks or something later until you could take profits. So you can see how the dragonfly can mature much, much more quickly than the condor. And that's the big advantage. You can turn your money over more quickly. And we'll go ahead and look at some other examples here well that's interesting these are all kind of defaulting to um, what we were just looking at but let me go ahead then and just pull them up here we'll look at one here uh, back from march let's see here That's okay, you get to see how this works. You can have a lot of fun going backwards in time. And I can also point out that you don't have to go with the play button like that. You can just go right to the end. So we'll just go right to the end. So you see this condor ended up being a losing trade with uh, just two days left, turned red. So that was uh, March 4 of this year. Okay, and let me show you March 4 of this year if you did a dragonfly. We'll just go right to the end to save some time. So you can see here that the dragonfly was actually profitable. So here's, this is really the big advantage here. You see on the condor, it never, got to the point where it matured enough for the algorithm to signal a profit taking order. It just ended up taking a loss. But with the dragonfly, that same date, instead of doing a condor, you did the dragonfly. You had a profit taking signal here with only 38 days remaining and then two more subsequent to that. So you can see how the difference uh, dynamic because remember you own this call option here. So as the market was moving higher and higher, the value of this call that you own was increasing at a greater rate than the ones that you sold. And it made this trade mature much more rapidly. All right, well, let me look at one more here and we'll move on. Let me just think of, I uh, wanna make sure I don't repeat the ones we just did. Just a second here. Yeah, that's really weird. Here we go. Here's a good one. Just a moment, folks. Get these out of the way. So don't confuse myself. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to pick another one and then we'll move on and show you some of the best, the best feature of all. We'll talk about those trade alerts. Uh, that I mentioned. Okay, how about this one here? I have one in mind. This is from so November 20. And we'll look at the condor first. I just picked the ones with the the uh, longest days till expiration. 
Okay, so you can see this Condor trade was doing great uh, with the green, do nothing. It started turning profitable and then it started turning red and then it started turning yellow. And you can see as the market got higher and higher and higher, it started to jump up and got too aggressive here for the algorithm, decided there's too much risk. And it had a, a signal here to, to basically take your lump and move on, take your loss on the trade and move on. Okay, so that was on the November 20 trade. So we'll look at that with a dragonfly, compare the two. November 20. We'll look at the dragon. So we just saw the condor took a loss. But look at this. The dragonfly actually was a profitable trade. So on January 3, it turned profitable, gave you profit taking signals for the next several days. And if you look back here, on January 3, uh, this condor was still negative, still losing money. So you can see how the dragonfly can have a much compared to me later. And I want to point out here what's next. How do you look at your open positions on one page? Well, first of all, you have this um, dashboard and just look at that. The uh, next page here, just a moment, folks. Okay. You can look at everything here on one page, and I'm getting some good questions about uh, the benefits of the uh, ES versus Spawn and XPX, and I'll show you that actually in just a bit, but very good question. So you can look at all your open positions here. Remember, this is just a demo account. All I do is go through and just pick the ones with the longest days till expiration. But you can see at a glance how everything's working. For example, here's a dragonfly if you want to take a look at it uh, in detail and just kind of look at, uh, oh, I'm sorry, there's no settlement history because I just placed it. So here we'll look at this dragonfly. So here's an example of a dragonfly that was placed on September 23rd. It was very close, I probably in this area here for the algorithm to take profits. Um, and then it started getting a lot of pressure as the market's rallying very, very strongly. And depending on the timing, if uh, theta decay starts to work and the market starts to just kind of go sideways and quiet for a while, this will still work out. But uh, it's definitely under a little pressure right now. But even so, look at here, the markets ran up all this way, getting closer to those calls that you sold, and the trade still has a profitable P&L of over $300. So that's the benefit of the Dragonfly and owning that call. Um, and, and this put, of course, on, on the downside if it was the opposite. All right, so that's how you look at your open positions, and here's your closed positions here. You could filter your closed positions, or you can just look at everything, and it gives you a summary here, the total, your short positions, your bot positions. And again, this is just my demo account. It wouldn't make too much of the wins and losses here. But it makes sense that most of the selling short positions are going to be profitable. You see all the green. You see a couple of losers here. Um, and then you can, once again, look at the history of any trade. You know, here's a dragonfly if you want to go back in time. And you can see that trade, and then you can see where it took profits here with uh, 22 days remaining. So that's kind of typical when you're selling premium and these dragons and these these uh, condors with the higher probability outcomes, uh, the really wide range of error or margin of error on these trades. And let me look at this section here and give you an idea how to automate this. We talked about the RTI and the colors and turning profitable with the blue signal or red with the loss. So you can automate it here. You click risk manager, activate, profit directive, activate, and it will automatically manage that for you, just that simple. And also want to point out that we have 
our daily research here. We have uh, daily trading comments to help guide our client base. This is all proprietary to us. We cover what's happening in Asia and Europe and the US. What about looking ahead, some technical zones here, uh, any trades that were filled on that day. And then we also do our daily trade scope newsletter, which is more uh, visual as opposed to a narrative. So we're looking at indicators and we're looking at a market outlook and providing some forward guidance there. So people like to refer to that and that's proprietary to us. And we do have all the video and educational tutorials available here as well within ThetaTrader. I just wanna point that out and there's a great help file. Sometimes you might wanna look at and take a deeper dive at maybe the details behind the RTI and how that works and strategies here and the explanations. That's all available there. I won't spend time digging into that because our, of course our time is limited. And then one other thing here, let me go back here. And I wanna just point out that rather than just doing neutral and non-directional with the dragons and the condors, keep in mind, you know, we're, we can do any bullish or bearish strategy as well in the same way. Something we like to do sometimes is called a, bull, a bear hedge or bull or bear uh, bull hedge, one or the other. It's simply, in the case of a bear hedge, you're buying an out of the money put spread, but to pay for it, you sell an out of the money call spread. And then, of course, if you place an order like that, it's all pre built. Just Theta Trader does all that work for you and then it tracks it for you. And then the RTI will track that position and close it out for you uh, as well. So you can get directional uh, or not. And with that said, let me switch gears. Just a moment, folks. And let me show you the best feature of all. And I see some more chats and comments, so please keep them coming. And I promise I'll get to them. Okay, here's the best feature of all. So let's make it easier. It's our trade alerts. I kind of hinted about this earlier. One touch responsive alerts, you'd simply touch accept or reject. That's all you have to do. Everything is integrated with your account. You don't need to log in to something else and try to transpose a message and mess that up, which uh, happens a lot. <laughs> um, these are live alerts, meaning they're integrated with your trading account with us. To accept, you just touch accept and our technology handles the rest. If you don't like it, you just touch reject. And here's what it looks like. So you get a text message with a link, takes you right to the alert page. It'll give you a brief description of the alert. I want to point out something, the quantity is already pre-sized for your account. So you know, the alert is going to be suited for you and your account based on not only the balance in your account, but of course, what other positions you have in your account. You're not going to receive a new trade with the same exact strikes or expirations uh, that you already have in your account. So it has the net premium collected, the cash required, it gives an explanation, and then you just simply uh, touch accept. And our technology handles the rest for you. That's it, folks. Here's another version of it. We don't have, don't need to see it on an older phone, but works the same way. So this is how to get started. We have an offer for the Synergy Traders event here today. I'm glad you could join us. So it's our Theta Trader membership. That's what we call it. So Theta Trader software that you just saw, the proprietary algorithm creating those option spreads, simple, effective trade selection and management. You have that RTI, which will automatically exit those trades for you uh, before they expire one way or another. The RTI will close out your position, whether it's for a win or a loss. So that's what we call autopilot and being non-emotional. You saw the trade simulator. You can back test and have a lot of fun with that. Very powerful. I've never seen a back testing tool for six legged option spreads. So it's an amazing technology. So you have data trades, the RTI, and the trade simulator. So with Theta Trader, that value there, over $3,588 for that software. And then I mentioned the trade alerts. Remember, these are integrated, it just takes one touch. And in fact, so many of our clients just fully rely on the trade alerts. That's all they do. Talk about um, no screen watching and no babysitting. They absolutely love these alerts. 
I mentioned they're specific to you and your account. So everything's integrated, you just touch accept. And then once the order is placed and filled, uh, the RTI can then manage that trade automatically for you if you so choose. And that software value over $4,400. I think that's way undervalued compared to some of the stuff I see. So you have the Theta Trader software and the alerts, so it's all part of it, over $8,000 value. And then we bring it together, tie it all together for you with a private coach. You can do one hour screen sharing sessions or 30 minute or 20 minute, whatever you like. You know, of course we're series three licensed, we're experienced. Having that coach and someone to train you, discuss strategy, review your trades, a co-pilot, a value of $7,500, I don't think so. I think it's worth 20, 30, $50,000 because quite frankly, people talk to me all the time about education that they're paying for. You know, they're paying 25,000 or something or more for this course or that course. And that's okay to be educated, but to use Theta Trader and trade our approach and our strategy and using our technology, um, we're going to include everything you need to know with your Theta Trader membership and then give you that coaching along with it. So you have the software, the alerts, and the private coach valued over $15,500. And of course, just to get corny folks, um, not for, let's not forget the research I mentioned, almost $3,000 value on the proprietary research. And of course we have those online tutorials available as well, we touched on that. So you add it all up for your Theta Trader membership, $18,504 value. And really, I think a lot of you might think this might work for me because I can cancel other subscriptions. Maybe I can save time and lower my stress. And I think you might answer, yeah, it would be worth it if you could do that type of thing. And I know people have paid tens of thousands of dollars for software and newsletters and alerts, and I've done it myself. And some of it's great, some of it's not so great. And here's the thing with Theta Trader. Like I said, we used to do these in-person events and at this value here, in fact, it was 4,000 for quite a while, but we're gonna offer you a much better deal, not even 797, 80% off retail, 597, and that's a one-time payment, one-time payment. And there's our link, cf.altavest.com forward slash TT. And that's my direct phone number there, please call me. And it'll either be picked up by someone else or go to my voicemail. I mean, this is live at the moment, so I can't pick it up right now. But write my number down or just go right to the link and sign up because you know what? It's a 30-day guarantee on that fee. So really, there's no excuse. If you think this is for you, you're not, you know, you're 99% sure, just sign up. And if for some reason it doesn't work out, we just rebate that fee. No questions asked. We're not going to hold you hostage. A few FAQs. And let's jump into that. Yeah, thanks for entering the link there. Remember, tax efficiency. If you want to save, uh, lower your tax rate by over 10%, you need to be trading futures and options with us. Here's an example if you're trading stocks, you have a $7,400 tax liability, 12.6% return. But if you're trading with us, you have only a $5,360 tax liability. So a tax savings of over $2,000 because this is a tax efficient instrument. And of course, no more itemizing, you get that 1099, that's all it takes. People ask about IRAs, yes, but there are some financial or experience requirements, so you'll wanna contact us about that. Forbes talks about uh, market volatility and investing with alternative assets with self-directed IRAs, so absolutely we can do that. And why E-mini S&P 500? Why these options? Well, they're liquid, they're efficient, they're cost-effective, and mini can be huge, folks, two and a half times larger. Did you know the E-mini S&P 500 outtrades all ETFs around the world by over two and a half times? That's according to the CME group. And look at this, according to the SPY, it's almost 10 times greater in terms of average daily dollar volume. So this is where the depth and volume and liquidity is folks. And these options, there's five reasons here, volume, liquidity, access, like I just mentioned, you have the E-minis here trading one point, over 1.3 million in July, average daily volume. Huge amounts of volume offer superior execution on these options. Cost savings of four to $15 per contract compared to SPX options. So someone was asking about the benefits of trading these options compared to uh, SPX. So there you have it, folks. Uh, tighter spreads, 
Then here's a big one. With the E-minis, you can take a dragonfly, a six-legged uh, trade, and it's traded as one order, as one object at one price. Everything's traded at one order, one object, one price. With stocks, if you try to do a six-legged spread like a dragonfly, you can't do it. You have to break it up into two legs, two different orders. I've seen it, I've tried it, and it stinks. It doesn't work. Um, and that's because we're in a completely different landscape. We're not securities. This is the future side of things. And also you have all the strike prices available. We talk about volume. So there's a hundred annual expirations. So you have that granularity and coverage that you need. And what do I mean by that? Well, the algorithm is seeking strike prices and expirations it needs to build out those trades. So you're gonna to wanna to have trades you know, that are uh, staggered and laddered in terms of strikes and expirations. And you can have that with the ES family of options. And of course it's easy to track one or two markets, not thousands. You have efficient margin use compared to stocks and there's a clear cost structure. And what do I mean by that? Well, remember, these are not securities options. We trade at the CME group on the Globex exchange, electronic exchange. So every order trades at the Globex exchange. Every order gets equal treatment, large or small. And there's no third party nonsense and payment for order flow. There's none of this free stock trading BS. It's not free folks, it's not commission free. Yeah, we can all trade stocks, but let's not fool ourselves. We're talking about Robinhood orders are executed at prices inferior to other brokers. So um, it says here, you're saving a penny to lose a nickel. You know, Robinhood and so forth gets fined 65 million. It says payment for order flow is just disguised commissions. If you want the broker to work for you, pay a commission, according to David Einhorn. And nothing of value is truly ever free. So people want to know what's our commission very competitive. Our rates are five and a quarter round turn all in. And this here, I took right off a big box brokerage firm and you know they trade stocks and all that. They do do futures and they say, oh, well, we're only two and a quarter, but that's per side, that's per side folks. And they add more fees on top of that clearing and exchange fees. And it makes it higher than what we charge. So our rates are competitive and everything is net by the way. Everything I showed you is net of all commissions, all the percentages and all the dollar figures wanted to point that out. And people ask, what's the performance? Well, of course, everyone does trade trading differently. So everyone has different performance. And what size of account? We suggest at least 25,000. And if you do 50,000 or more, we simply re rebate that membership fee. So people love to take us up on that offer. You deposit 50,000, begin trading with us, and then we just rebate that membership fee. And remember we do IRAs, and of course, individual, joint, corporate, LLC, trust, you, you, you need it. And you name it, we got it. And then just to kind of wrap it up, we've got a few minutes here. And why would you, you know, why would you really consider alternatives? Well, they improve diversification, lower portfolio risk. How about this? Are stock prices overextended? Well, here we are. Here's the, uh, what they call a Buffett indicator, stock market capitalization to GDP ratio. It's a fancy way of saying, um, the value of the stock market compared to the GDP, what's that ratio? And here we are at like nosebleed territory and getting higher and higher. And you know, the higher you go, the harder you fall, right? So yeah, at some point it'll collapse, but uh, who knows when, but something to keep in mind, just another way of looking at the same data here, you can see here. You can see here in the 2000 uh, com crash, we were 159%, now we're at two, 220%. Kind of amazing. This is on a global basis, by the way, right here, this graph. So we're at record highs, even on a global basis, not just in the US. And you're not that diversified if you're in an index fund. Let's face it, folks. Um, the top 10 stocks in the S&P have 25% of the index's weight. And the tech, center, tech sector is 40%. We call it the tech tilt. It's at a historic high. The only time it was ever this close was in 2000 when the S&P fell 50% after that. And how about this? Is this a Federal Reserve fueled inflation uh, environment? Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> Any correlation folks here, you see the S&P 500 is the red line. And then you see uh, here assets of major central banks is that blue line, basically their balance sheet or just another way of saying money printing. So follow the Fed or don't fight the Fed, another chart showing the kind of the same thing. 
And that's really resulting in inflation, as we all are aware, picking our pockets. It's a great cartoon. Prices soaring at their fastest rate in 40 years for consumers. Here's the CRB index, because uh, commodity prices, if you're not familiar with that, it's an index of commodity prices. Energy is a big component of that. Highest inflation since 1990. Uh, used vehicle index, look at that, just skyrocketing. Peter Schiff, of course, he's always uh, this way. I met him actually, interesting guy. Inflation is locked and loaded. Um, this is a funny cartoon. It says, yeah, the, the price of the ground beef package is the same. <laughs> There's no inflation. <laughs> uh, is the stock market overvalued? Well, we kind of looked at that a little bit here. Market Watch says the next 10 years don't look good according to a contrarian indicator. It's uh, called uh, a statistic called R squared, but don't worry about that. It says, since 1951, it's been able to predict 70% of the changes in the stock market's next 10 years. And it's projecting here that the S&P will produce a, produce a total return of minus 4.2% annualized over the next decade. So something to keep in mind, you know, maybe we shouldn't have unrealistic expectations. It says here, the average US retail investor expects a 17.5% forward return. That's amazing. December of 99, Average retail investor expected a 19% annual return. And then actual results here were negative 2.3% for the next 10 years. So here's what investors expect, 17.5%. And financial advisors say it's realistic, 6.7%. So there's a big, big gap. A lot of optimism in the, you know, here's that big gap I mentioned here. S&P 500 versus consumer confidence. Oh, it went the wrong way, folks. So we like what we're doing with Theta Trader. You have a low correlation to these uh, these moves up, down, sideways. Theta Trader can handle it all. <laughs> so if your portfolio is all stocks or little stocks and bonds, we think it should have some alternatives. And we'd like to like for you to consider what we're doing and join our Theta Trader family. These algo driven option spreads. So you don't want to you don't want to trust your gut, folks. Um, this is a good one here. You said that you always invest based on your feelings. So how do you feel now? And this guy says broke. So we're not going to invest on feelings. We need automation and a process. We're process driven and we like these non-directional strategies. And there is our link. We'll leave that up there. And I see some other, I think I answered some of those questions already. Yeah. And we are the brokerage firm. So we are the brokerage firm. You open an account with AltaVest, and this is our technology that you would trade using um, using uh, your brokerage account with us. And yeah, unfortunately, if you're in another country, uh, email me or call us. Use our email here and ask. It depends on where you're located. Uh, but yeah, I think that'll wrap it up. I think I answered um, a lot of the questions there, and thanks for joining us.